Hello, 9th standard. Welcome to this video session. Now, today we are going to do video session number 21. Right? Now, this video session that we are going to learn about the topic same world of microbes. This world of microbes we have learnt as first introduction under that we have learnt what are the habitat and then about the structure of the infectious agents or pathogens. This is causing pathogens as bacterial, viral, protozoan, algae and fungi. And as I said earlier, normally algae they have many beneficial activities than the uh, disease causing pathogens. Whereas bacteria, it is a both a beneficial and harmful bacteria or whereas viral, they are only harmful activities. See? And we have learned about the structure of bacterial cell viral and fungal that was the first session then second yesterday video class we have learnt about application of microbes as what are the as hmm, the application of microbes as useful activities or beneficial activities of microbes I hope you remember that just to do two minutes neglect for that and that uh, activities that is okay. Now today in this video session 21 we are going to learn about microbes and diseases. Diseases na uh, last time we actually finished to when you have in earlier classes this is abdominal yeah? this is now no, no, PD period first you will be Asked to go round the uh, uh, round, like a round, you will be asked to form a line. Then the PDZ will say the attention, standard T's. Upon the standard T's, you are asked to stand at ease at the meaning. Okay. So, ultimately, when you are standing comfortably, it is uh, fine for you. Is it not? There is no problem or any. Discomfort. Same way, when you are functioning of body, when it is at ease, our normal vital functions will go on. Is it not? If any slight disturbance, even a common cold, even a slight headache, and the mother evil, we are not comfortable. Yeah. So that is this. Is is or the opposite against. So that is this is we are not comfortable. So when a person is suffering from something, we say we have some malfunctioning or disturbance. That is disease, and it is mainly caused by microbes. Okay. So in this microbe, it causes diseases under four category. First. Extent of occurrences. Extent of occurrences. Now, it is again as four categories as endemic, epidemic, pandemic, and sporadic. Because it is pandemic. One by one. Endemic now, when a person is suffering from, say for example, for a jaundice <coughs> So if it is affecting a particular community, jaundice it is a endemic disease. If it is affecting again, if it is affecting again, that's the end of the disease. That is the end of the disease. That is the end of the disease. That is the end of the Tamil Nadu, all over India, all over the world, when it is spread, that is the end of the 
இப்போ இந்த கோவிட் நைன்டீன் கொரோனா வைரஸ் வேர் அண்ட் லாக்டவுன் அது வந்து பேண்டமிக் ஏன்னா தட் வைரஸ் ஹஸ் ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஆல் ஓவர் த வேர்ல்ட் இஸ் அ குளோபல் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் த்ரூ வேர்ல்டு வைட் இட் இஸ் செட் டு பி பேண்டமிக் சரியா லாஸ்ட் வேர்ட் இட் இஸ் ஸ்போரடி ஸ்போரடினா இட் கம்ஸ் அக்கேஷ்னலி அப்படின்னா என்ன அர்த்தம் மழை காலம்னா நமக்கு வந்து கொசு நிறைய வரும் ஸோ கொசு கடிக்கும் கொசு கடிச்சா சான்சஸ் ஃபார் மலேரியா பிகாஸ் மலேரியா இஸ் ஸ்ப்ரெட் த்ரூ தி ஃபீமேல் அனஃபில் மஸ்கிட்டோ பை த பைட் ஆஃப் ஃபீமேல் அனஃபில் மஸ்கிட்டோ அதுதான் ஸ்போரடி சேர்ந்து காலரா வந்து ரெயினி சீசன்ல நிறைய மழை கொட்டுறது ஸோ வாட்டர் தட் வி ஆர் யூஸிங் ஃபார் அவர் பர்பஸ் ஆஸ் எ குக்கிங்கோ இல்லைன்னா ட்ரிங்கிங் வாட்டரோ இஃப் இட் இஸ் நாட் சேஃப் நல்ல வாம் வாட்டர் பாய் பண்ணால் வாட்டர் குடிச்சோம்னா வாட்டர் வில் பி கண்டாமினேட்டட் அதுவும் இட் கிவ்ஸ் தட் இஸ் இஸ் காலரா சரி ஸோ காலரா இஸ் அ வாட்டர் பார்ன் டிசீஸ் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி அக்கேஷ்னலி வரும்போது அக்கேஷனா இட் மே பி அ ரெயினி சீசன் or it may be winter season kosukarikkalam example for sporadic event it is cholera and malaria seriya so that is extent of occurrence endalavu and the disease vande the society at balikkirathu that is extent of occurrence seriya the next one infectious and non infectious it is otherwise communicable and non communicable diseases diseases which are spread through direct contact as any direct contact or the articles used by the person affected with the disease that is infectious whereas non infectious or non communicable diseases as arthritis diabetes heart attack goiter that is deficiency of thyroxine hormone adalla non infectious or non communicable diseases whereas infectious communicable diseases la contagious and cholera typhoid malaria and the madri chicken pox maella contagious and infectious diseases i hope you are able to follow this okay then types of pathogens என்ன சொல்லுவோம் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேத்தஜென்ஸ்னா ஏஜென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டிசீசஸ் ஓகே வாட்டர் ஆர் தே ஆர் பாக்டீரியா வைரஸ் ப்ரூட்டோசுவன் அண்ட் ஃபங்கஸ் ரிப்பீட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேத்தஜென்ஸ்னா ப்ரூட்டோசுவா ஃபங்கஸ் பாக்டீரியா அண்ட் வைரஸஸ் சரியா அத வந்து நாம கார்டு தி லெசன் தி கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் we will learn okay then transmitting agents transmitting agents na mode of transmission transmitting agents are air water food soil and animals i repeat transmitting agents are air water food and animals so the disease passed by air they are yeah <coughs> air borne diseases water borne diseases and then food food uh, spoiling the food poisoning will also cause some diseases and then soil the, the microbes will be that that when it is taken contaminated soil it will the and the <coughs> root uh, food la na chapu bodu if it is not washed properly through the soil when the carrot beet root radish டர்னைட் ஜிஞ்சர் அதெல்லாம் பொட்டேட்டோ அதெல்லாம் நம்ம ஒழுங்காக வாஷ் பண்ணிங்கன்னா அது வந்து பிலோ த சாயில் அண்டர் கிரவுண்ட்லேருந்து எடுத்ததுனால அதை வந்து நல்ல வாஷ் பண்ணணும் பிகாஸ் தட் சாயில் மே கண்டே சம் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் மைக்ரோ ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட்டிங் ஏஜென்ட் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் டு ஃபாலோ திஸ் ஐ சே மைக்ரோ அண்ட் டிசீசஸில் யூ ஷுட் நோ த டெஃபினிஷன் ஃபார் டிசீஸ் and the extent of occurrence as endemic epidemic pandemic and sporadic infectious or non infectious and the 
communicable and non communicable diseases. The third one types of pathogens. And allow protozoa, bacteria, virus, and fungus. Transmitting agent, air, water, food, and soil. Okay. The next one is manifestation as communicable or non communicable diseases. Then point of entry on food drugs. It is the body, whether it is entering through the skin or through the nose or through and the food that we are taking, water that we are drinking. And the point of entry, that is portals of entry. Then reservoir of infection. And it is as again, yeah, hundred different viruses and bacteria it is entering. And then uh, water it has many contaminated water, it has many diseases. So reservoir of infection. Then incubation period. The period between the entry and developing the uh, pathogen, the germs will be growing, the development and the appearance of the symptom, the time between the portal entry of the infection into the body and the appearance of the first symptom and the gap to the incubation period. Normal that will be from few hours to several days or even one year or more. Every common cold in morning head for that evening air, we will know. So that few hours of incubation period. Okay. Whereas night is a person suffering from rabies. Rabies on the what a night symptom of It will take Few weeks in our Nikal Sidanaka and an eye will go in the end of the follow up and a And then for six weeks we take injection. Yeah. So, and the Nike will be enough. If the noise that no, dog is dead, then person is definitely affected by rabbits. And a number of bite of the dog are the little number of the blood to one put upon another. The dog could not survey and unloaded the number of the Sandamari and the infection period. Apparently, it takes few weeks to even one year, it will show the symptom for rabbit. So, that development from the entry of the pathogen into the body till it after developing till it shows the first symptoms, appearance of first symptom and to say it, incubation period. It is infected and the infection may be a tissue or an organ. It may affect the tissue or the organ and the infection. So, it will manifestation of the diseases. Manifestation of very part in Chukamla, communicable or non communicable, point of entry or portal, reservoir of infection, incubation period, and infection. I hope you are able to follow this. In the way, in detail, in the introduction, more chitter, Nama Marudium, Nama Bukla, and the Yarbon. Waterborne diseases, vector borne further, and delta diseases of tablet column. That I will show you by presentation as usual. Both the ADD, now children put the one now the ADD get So, with that, uh, we will have your textbook with you. With that, we will go for further explanation. So, yeah. the next one the harmful effect of the diseases. NLA, it may be a tissue or organ damage. Common cold enough, the respiratory tract is getting affected. So, the tissue or organ damage. Children, 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 children,
கொசு கடிச்சதுன்னா அது வந்து அகேன் இட் இஸ் ஆர்கன் டேமேஜ் அது மாதிரி ஸோ இட் மே பி டிஷ்யூ ஆர் ஆர்கன் டேமேஜ் அதே சமயம் இஃப் ஆல் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஏர்வான் டிசீஸ் தே வில் அஃபெக்ட் த பர்டிகுலர் சிஸ்டம் ஆஸ் ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் அதே மாதிரி வாட்டர் பால் டிசீசஸ் நார்மலி இட் அஃபெக்ட்ஸ் த டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் அதான் என்ன சொல்லுது இட் இஸ் டிஷ்யூ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஆர் ஆர்கன் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் சரியா தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் செக்ரீட்டி சம் டாக்ஸின் டாக்ஸின்னா பாரிஸ்னஸ் சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் த இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் வந்த உடனே இட் இஸ் த பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் இன்ஃபெக்டட் பேட்டஜனே ஒரு டாக்ஸின் தான் ஸோ இட் இஸ் செக்ரீட்டி toxic substances so that is toxic secretion i hope you understand hmm? then we will continue with the airborne diseases by viruses and bacteria same way water borne by bacteria and viruses airborne and water borne diseases by bacteria and viruses we will continue with the continuation of this video session with the representation seriya so, yeah, enna ella disease oda the tablet column portal as it is given in the textbook we need to learn that we will continue seriya so, yeah. then finally another one robert koch the scientist robert koch he studied the presence of spores in bacillus anthracis that is causing the disease called the anthrax in cows in cattle namely the cattle disease anthrax it is caused by this bacillus anthracis the spores of the bacterium bacillus anthracis is causing the disease anthrax especially in cows that is identified by the scientist robert koch i hope you understand and so we continue this video session 21 with the presentation mainly with the airborne and waterborne diseases caused by virus and bacteria so we will continue thank you in standard this is continuation of our video 21 as we were discussing bacterial and viral diseases கண்டினியூஷன் தான் நம்ம வீடியோ ஒன் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் கொடுத்தேன்ல அதோட கண்டினியூஷன் வேர்ல்ட் ஆஃப் மைக்ரோப்ல வி ஹேவ் டன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் பாக்டீரியா வைரசஸ் அண்ட் ஃபங்கல் மைசீலியம் அண்ட் தென் வி ஹேவ் லேர்ன்ட் அபௌட் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மைக்ரோப்ஸ் अदरवाइज बेनिफिशियल एक्टिविटीज ஆஃப் மைக்ரோப்ஸ் இப்போ வந்து நம்ம பாக்டீரியல் அண்ட் வைரல் டிசீசஸ் பார்க்கலாம் Now this microbes and diseases. Can I tell you again? Disease. Now the disease. Now as I introduction I told you earlier, this is against, is not comfortable. So disease can be defined as impairment of. Disease can be defined as. an impairment or malfunctioning of normal state of the living organism living organisms na plants animals including man and that disturbs or modifies the performance of vital functions vital functioning in the referring to all physiological activities mainly digestion breathing circulation muscular skeleton excretion and reproduction okay so and this is can be categorized as extent of occurrence so nail endemic epidemic and pandemic or sporadic that is the extent of occurrence so that is one disease vandudena adu vandu whether it is affecting a particular person or a particular community and the category the starting out as endemic epidemic pandemic or sporadic right whether it is infectious or non infectious that is communicable or non communicable first i kattha the vand contagious or non contagious sollu i kattha the vand infectious or 
non infectious ena solirken infectious na it will spread to others non infectious will not spread to others non infectious example all non communicable diseases arthritis diabetes and the heart attack uh, for any disorders in human adella hormone secretion malfunctioning there are non infectious okay then types of pathogens adella nam enna paathom whether it is caused by bacterial viral fungal or protozoan pathogens infection and namke eppadi varudhu whether it is a bacterial disease viral fungal or protozoan infection same way mode of transmission mode of transmission the transmitting agent whether air borne water borne or vector borne disease and then example occurrence of goiter in sub himalayan regions the mode of transmission and then the transmitting agent okay now the extent of occurrence pathula adha epidemic appadina the disease which breaks out and affects large number of people in a particular geographical region and spreads at the same time example influenza virus caused by influenza caused by influenza virus okay then i'm a structure of virus la na kamichirke influenza virus picture huh? so now disease which breaks out and affects large number of people in a particular geographical region particular geographical and the particular area and spreads at the same time whereas pandemic it is this is which is widely distributed on a global scale as uh, immuno deficiency syndrome so acquired immuno deficiency syndrome so endemic sorry and on the age so now na ipo nama corona lockdown la irukom la that corona virus it is causing the spread of the disease that is pandemic okay you one more endemic na illa vittirken endemic vandu it is the <coughs> disease which breaks out for a particular people or a particular community and the inna or rendu state solrena jagrad nagar la or jara rendu therilla da irundrena adu vandu endemic condition la example adu vittirken na adu vandu endemic disease okay whereas sporadic adu vandu disease which occur occasionally appappo varum and then the season ke edapla ipo mala kalana nare kuskadikum le so chance for malaria fever whereas mala kalathula maradi contaminated water kudikkadhukku chance appo cholera is possible so this malaria cholera they are occasionally they occur that is sporadic disease introduction puriyadha idha naapade ennukku introduction la yen solirke okay so enalla paathirukom this is na which is uncomfortable right from the normal functioning of the body and then it can be categorized based on extent of occurrence as epidemic endemic or <coughs> pandemic or sporadic then whether it is infectious or non infectious then mode of transmission as transmitting agent as water borne air borne or vector borne seriya so, yeah. then okay, what is uh, definition for endemic epidemic pandemic and sporadic disease condition right next uh, manifestation of diseases manifestation na nama velippadu nu solluvala namakku disease vandirke varlai thana or society la disease irukke ipa corona virus irukke theriyadhu illa adhu da manifestation so tamil la manifestation na velippadu nu solluvanga so infection idu communicable la non communicable disease da first communicable na it is caused by external factors like pathogenic organism 
அதே தான் ரிப்பீட் பண்றேன் பாக்டீரியா வைரஸ் வெக்டர் அஸ் பாரசைஸ் இன்வேடிங் தி பாடி அண்ட் காசிங் டிசீஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சா டியூபர்குலோசிஸ் சிக்கன் பாக்ஸ் காலரா நெமோனியா மலேரியா இதெல்லாம் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் ஃபார் கம்யூனிகபிள் டிசீசஸ் வெரஸ் நான் இன்ஃபெக்ஷியஸ் டிசீசஸ் ஆர் நான் கம்யூனிகபிள் diseases and they are actually caused by internal factors like malfunctioning of organs genetic causes or genetic disorders hormonal imbalance hormonal imbalance na the hormone secretion vandu either in higher amount hyper secretion or in lower amount hypo secretion right and then immune system defect example diabetes coronary heart disease obesity cancer goiter etherile diabetes sugar level to be maintained coronary heart diseases na the heart structure of heart nama padichirukom illaya adula the heart itself is supplied with the arteries and veins they when they are affected and the heart itself supplied with the arteries and veins they are called coronary artery and coronary veins when they are affected it is coronary heart diseases obesity extra fat accumulation in the adipose tissue cancer uncontrollable multiplication of cells goiter in in uh, sorry hypo secretion of thyroid secretion thyroxin sorry yeah. so these are all as communicability of the diseases na communicable and non communicable diseases i hope you understand hmm? so now it is kadathu vande it is we are learning three four terms as point of entry and place of infection second one is reservoir of infection third is incubation period fourth one is infection what do we know point of entry na when a pathogen is affecting a person it is as it is said three lines of entry as external external la it may be through air water or weather or it may be as enna uh, solradhu contaminated air water food soil physical contact sexual contact and through infected animals adha idu appo place of adha point of entry eppadi pokuradhu abdingaradhu எப்படி உள்ள வர்றது அப்படி உடம்புக்குள்ள எப்படி இந்த பேத்தஜன் நுழையறது சரியா இப்ப வந்து யாருனாக்கி இப்ப கொரோனா வைரஸ் லாக்டவுன்ல இருக்கோமே நான் மூக்கு தொடக்கப்படாது எங்களை வாய் தொடக்கூடாது மாஸ்க் போட்டுக்கோ உங்களா சுரைய கூடாது இரும கூடாது தும்ம கூடாது எல்லாம் சொல்றாரு அதெல்லாம் து அவாய்ட் ஏர் பான் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் சேமே மழை காலத்துல கொதிக்க வச்ச தண்ணி குடிங்கிற அந்த மாதிரி அந்த பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் என்ட்ரி then place of infection place of infection na it is said it may be organ specific or tissue specific within our body ena solrudhe ipo organ specific vechukku ipo again corona virus e example solren nammala vandu mookeyo vaayo thodakudala nu solrom so the organ specific nose and the mouth the respiratory organ cell otherwise adha da <coughs> organ specific if corona virus to be affected nak it is uh, affecting the particular organ as respiratory system first entry vand nose and the mouth okay adha mari tissue specific na whether if vand cancer la normal cell na it affects the tissues yeah and the madri so the place of infection it may be organ or in a tissue specific i hope you understand hmm? next one the reservoir of infection so the reservoir of infection enna enga irundhu varudha enge ukkandha illa itana diseases so 
ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வந்து ஏர் ஏர் அரவுண்டஸ் ஸோ அது எங்கேருந்து வரும்னே நமக்கு தெரியாது ஏர் அரவுண்டஸ் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து வாட்டர் பால் டிசீஸ் வந்து வாட்டர்ல நிறைய இந்த இன்ஃபெக்டட் பேத்தஞ்சன் பேத்தஞ்சன்ஸ் வில் பி பிரசன்ட் தட் இஸ் வென் பர்சன் இஸ் டேக்கிங் தட் அன்சேஃப் ட்ரிங்கிங் வாட்டர் பண்ணோம்னா தட் காசஸ் டிசீஸ் சேம் வே சாயிலையும் ஆல் தீஸ் டிசீஸ் காசிங் மைக்ரோப்ஸ் ஆர் பேத்தஜன்ஸ் ஆர் பிரசன்ட் ஸோ ரிசர்வாயர் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் என்வாயன்மெண்ட் இன் விச் பேத்தஜன்ஸ் கேன் திரைவ் ஆல் வெல் அண்ட் மல்டிப்ளை விதவுட் காசிங் த டிசீசஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வாட்டர் சாயில் அண்ட் அனிமல் பாப்புலேஷன் சரியா the next one it is given incubation period abrina enadu the interval between infection and the first appearance of the disease suppose namakku undu corona abrina ka namakku adu ulle poiduthu or person ku ulle poiduthu ana adu enna disease nu theriyadhu illaya so adu ulle ukkandittu the common cold is called first undu nam thanni thala kulichu olga thala thottla na illa na kulurla undu chill ya na mookkulla nolanjidena first undu the virus undu it is entering into the nasal cavity that is nose okay appo enna irudhu odane namakku undu the thala dosham common cold ngadhu theriyala namakku thala velikira appla irukke kanna chell varudhu running nose varapora appla irukke illaya adala symptoms அதுக்கப்புறம் ப்ராப்பர் ரெட்னஸ் ஆஃப் த ஐ ரன்னிங் நோஸ் டூ மச் ஸ்னீசிங் தேர் ஆர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அப்பியரன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டிசீஸ் அண்ட் ஃபர்தர் ஸோ த டைம் இன்டர்வல் பிட்வீன் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் அண்ட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அப்பியரன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் இன்குபேஷன் பீரியட் நார்மலி இட் வில் பி ஃபியூ ஹவர்ஸ் டு செவரல் டேஸ் நம்ம படிச்சிருக்கோம்ல as uh, few hours na common cold in the kathala thala kulicha sayandara common cold illa yeah. adhe maari several days na ipo usually uh, <coughs> enna solradhu rabies nai kadila ipo iniki kadichidna odane adha patti namak edhume theriyadhu after 16 days or even after a year the rabies incubation period mudinje it will show the symptoms okay then infection is the entry development and multiplication of the infectious agents in the human body or animals so the disease varanumna id avlavu paathanum edala point of entry and place of infection adar entry na eppadi ulla body ku la poguradhu endha body tissue or organ affect pandrathu engiradhu it has to check then reservoir of infection air borne disease na air vandu reservoir water borne na water vandu reservoir ana mari paakkudhu then incubation period it is a time between infection and the first appearance of the disease like appra it is infecting the infection entry development and multiplication idu naalu romba 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 important okay so this is about the introduction of the diseases i cut the one idilayume the harmful effects of the microbe microbes are little whether air water weather ellam solliyaachu adilayum in what way it is affecting the person that is important seriya edalla pathogens it is causing diseases in two ways one is tissue damage another one is toxin secretion every tissue damage na many pathogen destroy the tissues or organs of the body causing morphological and functional damage example bacterium of <coughs> bacterium of pulmonary tuberculosis damages the cells of the lungs and virus causing hepatitis destroys the liver tissue so it will be tissue damage same time toxic secretion la vende many pathogens secrete poisonous substances called a toxin which cause tissue damage leading to the disease so 
இருக்கோ என்ன சொல்றோம் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் எஃபெக்ட் வந்து இட் अफेக்ட்ஸ் தி पर्सन இன் டூ வேஸ் ஒன் வந்து டிஷ்யூ டேமேஜ் another one டாக்ஸின் செக்ரீஷன் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஃபாலோ திஸ் ஓகே தென் ஆ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் we will just follow the tabular column given in our textbook as airborne disease caused by viruses airborne disease caused by bacteria same way waterborne disease caused by viruses and waterborne disease caused by bacteria seriya so first airborne disease by virus vandu enala common cold influenza measles mumps and chicken pox what are all common cold influenza measles mumps and chicken pox seriya so the causative organism for common cold it's called rhinovirus for influenza myxovirus measles rubella virus again mumps ku myxovirus parotids ena parotid gland salivary gland particular it affects the parotid gland and all it is myxovirus parotid then chicken pox it is varicella zoster virus i repeat common cold caused by rhinovirus influenza myxovirus measles rubella virus and mumps and the myxovirus parotid parotid na enna ngamochukano parotid gland salivary gland parotid gland that is when that is inflamed swelling person is suffering from mumps seriya then chicken pox it is varicella zoster virus eppadi transmission common cold droplet infection influenza droplet infection measles droplet infection nuclei direct contact with the infected person in a droplet infection nam face row the edge therikirad illa that is droplet infection seri then mumps vand adhe da droplet avu idu moonume ore mode of transmission idella measles mumps and chicken pox as droplet infection droplet nuclei and direct contact with the infected person moonathukume and then airborne mostly it is affecting the respiratory organ so tissue or organ affected when the common cold upper respiratory tract inflammation of nasal chamber then influenza respiratory tract again inflammation of nasal mucosa and pharynx nasal mucosa na the mouth irukla adukulla mouth ku ulla adu vende nasal mucosa then measles vende respiratory tract mumps um upper respiratory tract then chicken pox again respiratory i hope you are able to follow this huh? then this <coughs> disease is symptoms in its own as common cold na fever cough running nose sneezing and headache fever cough running nose sneezing and headache same way influenza ku fever body pain cough sore throat na thonda karakarakum illa sore throat nasal discharge mukku vaindinde irukum nasal discharge and respiratory congestion respiratory congestion na namakku moochu udavum mudiyadhu moochu udrathukum shramama irukum vaayala moochu mola adha respiratory congestion right then measles eruption of small red spots on rashes in the skin apdi mela illa apdi pudi pudiya chap chapa adha eruption of small red spots or rashes in the skin coffee cough sneezing redness of eye that is called conjunctiva redness of eye ku peru conjunctiva seriya then enlargement of parotid gland movement of jaw becomes difficult parotid gland just now what i said it is a salivary gland right then chicken pox eruption of small uh, red spots with a kopplam chulula 
அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும் that is for chicken okay so airborne disease by virus வந்து common cold influenza measles mumps and chicken okay the next one is airborne disease by bacteria enola tuberculosis diphtheria whooping cough tuberculosis diphtheria whooping cough agar a causative organism agent when the tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis diphtheria when the corny bacterium diphtheria then whooping cough bordetella pertussis i repeat tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis diphtheria when the corny bacterium diphtheria whooping cough bordetella pertussis it is the causative organism mode of transmission enadhu again we are talking about airborne diseases by bacteria clear so nichayama it affects the respiratory structure so tuberculosis droplet infection from sputum of infected person chali jonole adu the irumaru thu edla chali varu varu adhu da then diphtheria droplet infection and droplet nuclei same way whooping cough droplet infection direct contact with the infected person ellame droplet infection da seriya and uh, tissue or organ affected vande idhula lungs diphtheria vande upper respiratory tract ena region nose and throat whooping cough again respiratory tract usually whooping cough and koyandai la da affect pannum kakkuan irumbal sonnala adu peru whooping cough okay and then symptoms and persistent cough chest pain loss of weight and appetite appetite na pasi poyidum hunger adu vandu pasikkaru so persistent cough chest pain loss of weight and appetite for a diphtheria fever sore throat sore throat na tonda karagarakum le sore throat choking of air passage normally moochudum mudiyadhu mook adaikum le jaladoshathukku shrama paduvume adhe maari whooping cough ku idu vande fever irukum sore throat irukum adhe maari indha or maari enna solrudhu congestion in the breathing problem person will be children will be suffering from breathing problem okay so this is for the airborne disease by bacteria idella tuberculosis diphtheria and whooping cough right the next one is waterborne disease caused by viruses enola poliomyelitis hepatitis a otherwise it is called infectious hepatitis poliomyelitis caused by polio virus hepatitis a caused by hepatitis a virus and acute diarrhea rotate rota virus okay so poliomyelitis hepatitis a acute diarrhea i hope you are able to follow this enala polio virus hepatitis a virus rota virus now we are learning about waterborne disease caused by viruses first rendu ena paatho airborne disease caused by virus airborne disease caused by bacteria now we are learning waterborne diseases caused by viruses correct okay? so if i enala causative agent polio myelitis polio virus hepatitis a hepatitis a virus normal short form la hiv so then acute diarrhea it is caused by rota virus ana common cold um airborne disease common cold um in the waterborne disease acute diarrhea ko there are 100 different bacterium and viruses will affect normally viral vandu 100 different viruses are causative agent seriya so poliomyelitis vandu mode of transmission droplet infection sputum discharge the chali vandide irukum secretion from nose throat contaminated water food and milk then hepatitis a ku contaminated 
water and food oral route na nam thanni kudikirathu and enna solradhu safe drinking water illama irundana adu it will affect acute diarrhea typically and the mari da unsafe water kudichomna kandipa diarrhea vandrum okay then polio myelitis it is central nervous system affecting symptom enadhu paralysis of the limbs upper limb and lower limb will be affected and preventive and control measures vandu oral polio vaccine solluvale upv ne pala kolandiki the polio muham solluvale polio drops kolandile kodupale adukku vandu adha oral polio vaccine is administered the vaccine kudukkaradhu vandu kudikkaradhu saapradhu la solvata idhu per administered okay so it's called sox vaccine or oral polio vaccine polio drops ku muham ne ஒரு சண்டே கொடுப்பாரு நோட் இந்த கார்பரேஷன் அனௌன்ஸ் பண்ணிட்டே வருவாள் அதான் பிரிவென்ஷன் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் மெஷர்ஸ் வேற ஹிப்பட்டிஸ் ஏ நாசியான ஒரு மாதிரி கிட்னஸ் அண்ட் மயக்கமா இருந்தே இருக்கும் அனராக்சியா அக்யூட் ஃபீவர் அண்ட் ஜாண்டிஸ் இதுல வந்து பிரிவென்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் கண்டாமினேஷன் ட்ரிங்கிங் குளோரினேட்டட் அண்ட் பாயில்டு வாட்டர் அண்ட் யூ ஷுட் ஹாவ் யர் ஓன் பர்சனல் ஹைஜீன் that is acute diarrhea it is intestine affecting affecting uh, organ vandu intestine the symptom vandu vomiting fever and watery stool na vaithala podu solvala thanniya podu motion and the watery stool with the mucus and uh, prevention vandu you should take more water to avoid dehydration i hope you understand so water bond disease when the polio myelitis hepatitis a and acute diarrhea the last in the session ak paakuradhu when the water bond disease caused by bacteria enala has cholera which is acute diarrheal disease and typhoid it is also known as enteric fever cholera caused by vibrio cholerae vibrio enna sonna netiki it is comma shaped bacteria and typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi i hope you follow this right then cholera cholera is transmitted through contaminated water oral route through house flies same way typhoid will be transmitted through food and water contamination way of the infected person through house fly the eel and chapat la ukkarunga and idu nam theriyama saaptona chances for enteric fever or typhoid then tissue vandu affected cholera ku intestinal tract typhoid ku vandu small intestine same way symptoms vandu acute diarrhea with rice water stool vomiting muscular cramp nausea and dehydration symptom undu acute diarrhea with rice water stool vomiting muscular cramp nausea and dehydration and prevention hygienic sanitary condition oral rehydration solution na nam inge nariya dehydration aanadanaala namakku undu rehydration venum nam undu glucose water electrolyte illana water la sugar potu andha mari kudichu and the <coughs> rehydration of the body balance should be maintained whereas typhoid vandu you should prevent contamination of the food by flies and any other larvae i hope you are able to follow this seriya so nama in the session la first adha vandu introduction paatho adukapra adhe summing up we have done as the manifestation of the diseases and diseases caused by air borne bacteria virus water borne bacteria and virus okay so we will continue in the next session of the video class for inna irukidhar periya chapter idu as vector borne diseases sexually transmitted diseases in immune system <coughs> immunization schedule ne இந்த லெசன் வந்து பெரிய லெசன் அதனால பொறுமையா இந்த வீடியோ பார்த்து செஷன் பார்த்து முடிச்ச உடனே டெக்ஸ்ட் புக்கை கோத்ரூப் பண்ணு 
only then it is easy to understand. I hope you understand. Hmm? So we will continue in the next video session. Thank you. Thank you.